So the industry doesn't talk enough about vendor lock-in. I've consistently warned that the over-reliance on a single hyperscaler can limit flexibility, increase long-term costs, and weaken an enterprise's negotiating provision. So what occurred, you know, 10 years ago plus when people were making movements in the cloud, some of these enterprises out there were to announce a key partnership with Amazon, Microsoft, or Google, or whatever, in moving some of their key assets into the cloud. And the concern I would have, if you're going to leverage the native capabilities of that particular cloud provider, security services, governance services, you know, scalability, things like that, serverless-based systems, um, you're locked into the cloud. Uh, functionally speaking, obviously, if you have money and time, you can move anything from any platform to any other platform, but they were economically unviable to make that happen. So the concern I had were that you're going to be limiting your choices. In other words, we move into the cloud and we're experiencing, you know, the things we talked about last time, the hidden costs and, you know, uh, and, and inefficiencies in terms of the cloud architecture living up to the business objectives. In cases like that, they couldn't hit the reset button and they were kind of stuck or locked into these cloud fees. And those were going to go on in perpetuity until they figured out some sort of a way to make it happen. So this is not necessarily understanding something that's the, that is that is not a concern. This is about understanding something that's a large concern for enterprises moving in the cloud. In many instances, even though they push portability, uh, the ability to move your uh, workloads and data sets to other cloud providers and back on-prem is something that's going to be easy task to make happen. It's not. And in many cases, and of course it depends on how many native features you leverage on the public cloud provider, that's going to be very expensive, so much so it's just uneconomically viable.